coming back stronger gotta believe god will not fail you gotta believe that it won't be much longer gotta believe i will prevail you gotta believe wow <laughs> wow nice voice how are you doing praise him i am doing good how thank you, you. how about <laughs> yourself <laughs> hmm. i last met you uh, i think three weeks back three weeks back yeah that's when i last met you yes yes how have you been who is uh, who is sandra rivers wow i have been very good very mm -hmm. blessed mm -hmm. and i believe sandra rivers is just a servant of the lord mm -hmm. and um, just someone that said yes to god mm. okay um like we saw some of the song like the song that you've been singing here and uh even the good video by the way made a good video and uh, like give them an acapella of your song got to believe <laughs> um as far as like how i how what inspired the song mm -hmm. gotta believe was actually inspired um through a struggle that i went through uh okay. physically you know, in the year of 2000, the doctors diagnosed me with guillain barre syndrome, which concerns the nervous system. Mm. So I couldn't even sit up for longer than 10 minutes. And um, they said, there's no cure. Okay. And um, eventually you are going to die. There's no cure. And so I really had to believe, mm. you know, what I was preaching. The Lord said, you preached, because I've been singing since I was 15. Okay. You preached what you believe, but now you have to believe what you preached. Okay. And I cried. I said, Lord, why me? And I, I heard the Holy Spirit tell me, why not you? Mm. What makes you so special that you don't have to go through anything? And I opened the Bible, desperate for God to speak to me. And it landed on Psalms 119, 70. King mm. David wrote this. He said, it was good mm. that I was afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. Mm and god just he gave me the strength to go through that three years i was homebound i could not do anything for three years mm. and after that recovery came and through that mm -hmm. he gave me that song gotta believe you know and through our faith when we believe you know god will give us the victory through that because our faith is in him mm. like before if you don't mind uh, would you tell us, uh, if you don't mind, if it is not a private life, would you mind if you tell us, like, what kind of a disease was that? It was um, a virus that attacked my nervous system. Okay. And it was a very rare disease. I mean, I'm sitting there at work and suddenly I can't sit up. And I, I was working at a very good job. I mean, I was blessed in the United States in America. Mm. And suddenly I lost my job. I lo even lost some friends. Because, because you know, yes. Yeah. Because, you know, um, when you're going through something like that, you know, you find out who your real friends are, you know. And your Jesus, true friends say. hello, Jesus mm -hmm. is the real friend. I mean, he stuck by me through the whole thing and took me out of that. And here I am, 20 years later, I am healed and I am here, you know, because um, I didn't receive what the doctors told me. I received what the Word of God told me. Oh, so you're now 20 years healed yes wow well actually after 20 years i'm healed it, it was a slow recovery it was three years homebound and then you know about maybe seven years after that recovery recovery but through it all god showed me more of who he was mm. you know because we can sing the songs how great thou art amazing grace mm. higher ground mm. you know all these beautiful songs even the new songs that we sing today but david wrote king david wrote again i'll go back to that he said mm. you are my strength and my song but you have become mm. my salvation and god became all those songs to me during my sickness during my affliction mm. hello many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivereth him out of them all yeah so like during that time of sickness and uh, like friends going away the moment you got like you got healed did they come back <laughs> very interesting question mm -hmm. I, uh, most of them did but i i was not um like i didn't hold it against them you know god was teaching me also to forgive mm -hmm. and um, just to trust in him and you know so yes they, some of them did come back some of them did not mm -hmm. but um the lord was always with me you know he 
like I said before, he will never leave us nor forsake us. You know, he is, he says, if you make your bed in heaven, I am there. If you make your bed in hell, I am there. Mm. So I don't know, you know, what maybe someone today, you know, you may be facing a similar struggle. You may be facing a financial struggle, depression, bipolar. I don't know, but God is with you. And he's able to deliver you and um, take you through that. But the joy of the Lord was my strength through all of that. Amen. Amen. So, like, how did you manage to, 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 to come over depression? Wow. <laughs> I was actually on the verge of depression. I Thank God I didn't go in so deep. But I was discouraged during the time I was sick. Mm. And one day, you know, I'm normally the one that says, let's get ready. Let's go to church. Let's be there early. Mm. Let's go praise God. I was so down, not only physically, but emotionally. I was not even wanting to go to church one morning. Mm. And my mom says to me, you're going to church. Get dressed. We're going. You know, she was my, you know, sometimes we need that person to get us encouraged, you and know, to get old, us going. How old were you? <laughs> Do not. Time. Now, now people can calculate. <laughs> I was in my early 20s. I'll just say that. Okay. But. Um, she says, we're going to church. So I, I got up. I didn't feel like it. I was in so much pain and just down emotionally. And I went to church. And when I got into the church, I could hardly even walk. You know, that's how bad it was. But they began to sing that song, I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my pain. pain. Mm -hmm. I'm laying it all down for the joy of the, Lord. the Lord. Suddenly, the Spirit of God came on me. Mm -hmm. And I ran. I mean, the joy of God just came. I ran to the front. I started to praise God out of like they say out of yourself you know sometimes you have to worship him and praise him outside of your circumstance outside of your worries outside of your 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 yourself you know and so i began to worship i mean it was like it was awesome hallelujah you know just glorifying him and um afterwards you know i went home and i was not um you know, I was still feeling the pain. I said, God, what did you do? Mm -hmm. I thought I received everything. He said, I gave you the joy, unspeakable and full of glory. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, people probably thought nothing's wrong with her. She's rejoicing. She's worshiping. She's praising God like nothing happened. And the joy of the Lord kept me during that trial. And I, he, I never went back to that state of mm -hmm. discouragement or depression. He gave me that joy to make it through. And so I praise God, you know, whatever you're going through today, it can be the worst thing, the most horrible thing anybody has gone through, but the joy of the Lord can be your strength today. And if you're not saved, if you've never experienced Jesus, I encourage you today, receive him because he can give you that joy that, that'll last for, you know, happiness, you have happiness when you get a new car, you get a new job, everything seems perfect. But joy you have when things are not perfect. When you don't have everything you want or desire, mm. you still have that joy inside mm. of you, that happiness that God brings you. Mm. Well, um, like one word to those people who are facing depression or anything related with mental health. Mm. One word or an advice to those people. I would advise you to praise God even if you don't feel like it, worship him. Open up your mouth and just begin to say, thank you, Jesus. I praise you. I magnify you. I glorify you. Go to the word of God. Begin to read it. Because the word of God is quick and powerful. It says, you know, he says, quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit mm -hmm. of the joints and marrow. It's a discerner of all the intents of the heart. So it, it goes, it can do what no doctor can do. It can do what no psychiatrist can do. It can do what no medicine can do. Mm -hmm. The word of God, he says he, he sends it. And it doesn't return void, but it Amen. prospers and it accomplishes. Amen. So I encourage you, just read the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, um, uh, before, there is something I want to show you. But uh, as our di director is uh, uh, preparing that thing that I want to show on the screen, then uh, you're going to be, okay, let the director be setting it, then you're going to talk, uh, talk about okay. it. So, um, Rivers, Sandra Rivers, yes. um, tell us, are you, um, like, during that situation, 
how how did, how was your family reacting to you and how were they like behaving or responding to your condition well mm. i love my and, family. Oh, and tell us if you're married and uh, okay. many kids <laughs> and uh, you know yeah i love my family but they didn't understand mm. fully what i was going through and that is something i believe god um had planned because sometimes our family will not be there you know mm -hmm. because god wants to take precedence in our lives yeah. he wants to be the one the number one in our lives and mm -hmm. he's the one that will understand because the bible says that it's through through the afflictions that we go through that that and through our infirmities that we get to know him mm -hmm. and that he knows us you know we that that's how we establish more of a relationship mm -hmm. so when when everyone turns their but you know what god did have them there and i praise god because they helped me through that even though they didn't understand mm. they still helped me they they okay. they cooked for me they took me to the doctor when i needed to go i had to go to rehab but there was times where i would sit in the car i couldn't get down i couldn't go into the store i was just sitting in the car mm. tears you know pity party and one day i was sitting outside of a store and um I was alone, you know, I think I thought I was alone, but God was with me. Mm. And in within a matter of three minutes, and that's not I'm not exaggerating. Mm. A man drives up, he takes him out himself out of the car, puts himself in a wheelchair mm -hmm. and wheels himself into the store. Another car drives up with a lady that has like a deformed hip and mm. she goes into the store. Mm. And if that wasn't enough to speak to me, a whole busload full of handicapped children drives up. Yeah. <laughs>